When I first started to volunteer here, I was uh, due to confidentiality. There's uh, very little that the volunteers know about the children, only their first names. And uh, when I started uh, uh, training as a CASA, I began to learn the circumstances that bring children into the system and into into uh, children's village. As a CASA, I'm an advocate for the child from the time that they are sheltered until the case is dismissed. It's an eye-opener to see the circumstances that these children have come from. Well, to me, Children's Village is a safe place for children of our community who are in crisis, victims of abuse and neglect, a place where health and welfare and law enforcement can bring children who aren't in these circumstances. Uh, it's a great, great asset for our community and, and very much needed. I'd like to thank the donors on behalf of Children's Village. Sure. My name is Jason Mueller. I'm a police officer for the Post Falls Police Department, and I'm here to talk about what the Children's Village means to us as law enforcement. It's a great partnership that we have. We have the ability to interact with the families on the police level where we're constantly dealing with all kinds of things, whether it be a crisis that is a mental health crisis or something where they're down and out in their luck. And the chil Children's Village is a place that we can bring them to for resources. And the nice part about it is that it allows the families to stay together where we have multiple siblings instead of having them be separated to go to different homes. We can keep the families together, keep the kids together, and keep their normalcy the best that we can until their life gets back on track. Just can't imagine not having that ability to refer them to you guys and give assistance that way. Thank you very much on behalf of Children's Village for your donation today. Uh, it's a unique view from the kitchen because I'm not direct care staff. However, the kids do occasionally come into the kitchen and they'll want to know what's going on or help cook. So I do have some interaction with them. Food is comfort. Um, and I think that depending on what I make, it is, it's, it can be a very happy thing for them. It can be very pleasing. It could um, actually be the best part of their day. I work at Skyway Elementary as well, and um, so there are a couple of residents that go to that school, and I, and I see how they interact with other kids, and I see that um, sometimes they're not treated the same. And that's hard, it's hard for me to watch. Um, in particular, there's one boy that uh, really feels like he doesn't fit in. And at Christmas time, it seemed that it was really important to him to have the things that other kids have. And that was just like, um, just a certain piece of clothing or a, a, a pair of shoes that was in style. I was able to talk to him about that and um, and just with the program here at um, the Children's Village, um, they made that happen for him. And it seemed to really um, give him a boost in confidence. Thank you to all the donors on behalf of Children's Village. Hi, my name is Vicki and this is my son Shaden and my daughter Nyla. Um, Back in Memorial Day of 2016, I brought my kids here to the Children's Village um, to do a tour and to see if they would like it because um, I had gone in trouble for some drugs and I had no family or nobody to help me with my kids. The kids went on two field trips a day and we got to go to Silverwood. All the staff here is amazing. They would pray for the kids and they had good meals. And every time I came, because I'd take them in and out every day. If I didn't have the support of the Children's Village and being able to bring my kids here, um, I probably would have ended up in prison. Um, I didn't want my kids to experience homelessness, and I was homeless for about six months. I slept right across the street in the church parking lot to be close to my kids. Addiction is horrible, and a lot of people don't think to put their kids somewhere where they'll be safe so they can get the treatment. So I was really grateful to find you guys. Our donations really help. And it's not just a drop the kids off. They're loved here. They're treated really well and they have fun and it's just an amazing place. And I tell everybody that. 
and I just want to say thank you to everybody who does support the Children's Village. Um, I appreciate it because if it wasn't for you, my kids wouldn't be where they're at right now with me. The Children's Village has really nice rooms and you get to go on two field trips a day. Um, they <clears throat> care for you, they, they give you food, um, and they get you to the places you need to go. My name is Mark Wilson. I am the CEO here at Children's Village. I've um, been in this role for approximately six months. So one of the most profound things for me since I've been here at Children's Village is the fact that we've been able to honor this promise that was made 27 years ago that kids could stay as long as they need and particularly that siblings could stay together. This is the most loving, giving, caring community I have ever known. And there are so many people that really get what we're doing and really understand the importance of it. And I just want to say to each and every one of you that what you do makes a profound difference that we couldn't do what we're doing without your support. That every single dollar that you contribute improves the quality of life of these little guys. And that's so critical at this point in their lives. Every single hour that you volunteer makes a profound difference in the quality of these kids' lives. Not only right now in the moment, but tomorrow and next year. One of the little girls who's here her level of confidence, I can see it. I can see it in how she carries herself. I can see it when she walks out to get on the school bus. And I know it's because of the care that we give. The fact that we understand what her needs are, the love and support that she gets, and her knowing that she's okay, that all this stuff that's happened in her life wasn't her fault, and that she's gonna be okay tomorrow. So thank you for all of your support. We couldn't do it without you in it. Like I said, every everything that you do makes a profound difference in the quality of these kids' lives. Mm -hmm.